Hi guys, Moz here. Just interjecting right before the video starts, this is an unboxing video. I am not a role-playing kind of guy. I don't play these sort of games normally. I've tried to understand how the game works. I don't really get it. So if you watch a video and you see me at the end just giving up, that's why. <laughs> so I'll put this bit in first. Basically, treat it as an unboxing to see what you actually get inside the box, how the maps look, how the counters look, by the way, the cardboard, and, you know, everything else that you get, the instructions. I, I, I swear to you, I've tried tonight. I've got a friend who's very good at board games. He's going to come down and help me do this. But at the moment, it's a no from me. But hopefully, if you do enjoy what you see tonight, do go out and buy it. There'll be a link in the description down below to get it from the FX website. And if you work it out, Leave a comment, tell me where I'm going wrong. But here you go, here's a video, and I'll see you at the end. Cheers. Hi guys, Moz here from Moz6510 Models, a channel dedicated to help you become a better scale modeler. I've had this game on order for a while, it's just turned up today, so I thought I'd do a bit unboxing about this board game that Airfix have brought out. Firstly, let's go through the outside of the box. You've got some real nice graphical art at the front, um, basically of a guy there with a grenade and another guy there with a gun getting ready to shoot, and you've got the commander there with the, with the binoculars on. Just by showing the front, you know that it's going to have some playing cards involved and some dice. So let's see what's on the back. So Airfix Battles, quick battles with your plastic soldiers. Airfix Battles is a fast and fun introductory ward game playable with your Airfix figures and vehicles. Recruit your army using the force card deck. Draw cards or select the ones you need to build a powerful army to challenge your friends. Set up the scenario using the step-by-step -step instructions in the mission book and you're ready to play. Each player has a hand of command cards to direct their forces to move and fight or call up airstrikes and artillery support. You never know what your opponent is going to do next. This box comes with everything you need to play, exciting World War II skirmishes straight away, including die-cut cardboard counters for, it, for tanks, infantry and guns, or swap out the counters for your own airfix figures and get ready to battle. So that's basically the premise of the game. The content includes two times double sided A2 maps. So that's 420 millimeters by 594 millimeters. Over 100 cardboard counters of tanks, infantry, and terrain. You get a mission book, a rule book, a 54 card force deck, a 54 card command deck, and you also get 10 dice. The game was designed by Nick Fallon, Alan Paul and Chris Birch and it should take between half hour and 60 minutes to play. I don't really know what the 10 plus is, that's quite, hmm, yeah. The counter size is actually 20 millimetres, that's the actual size and there you can see the pictures there showing of the maps and it looks like you've got cardboard terrain, uh, walls etc. So yeah, let's have a little look inside the box. So let's open it up. It is a top opening flap, flapped box, and inside, one, two, three, wow, let's have a look shall we, right. <laughs> kit here i think i'm going to have to move to the conservatory and do a proper unboxing of this kit because as you can see there is a lot of stuff in the kit so we've moved into conservatory a bit more light in here so we can use the whole of the table so first out of the box is battles the introductory war game and i think it's just basically going through the whole of the game we have a book here which says scenarios on them. So you have scenarios. It's telling you exactly how to play the game, I think. 
a map and it's quite a big map it looks like it's double-sided we turn it over there you go so you, it's like there's a road there let's have a look at what the other one looks like that one's got a checkpoint on on one side and this side it has a crossroads so there's two maps there to play with also have these counters you have like three boards for the counters just get a knife let's just open this up oh whoops that's come out so wow you've got a lot of pieces here that seems to have popped down it's quite dark i don't even see it it's quite dark you have to get really close to see what it's basically it looks like you've got flamethrowers there guys with rifles yeah it's very difficult to see and you've got some numbers there i have no idea what this is all about i'm just gonna have a look you've got smoke objective valor objective some walls there some undergrowth where well, you've got some guns there you can use uh tanks quite a lot of pieces here which seem to all come out and these are different so you've got blue and you've got green it looks like different men eight eight nine it, it it looks quite or oh, these pop out quite easy so what i'm going to do is put all these in separate bags so i know which is which it's a shame these are not plastic i will give i will say that there's an eight there so there's number one so what i've done is i've rebagged everything so you probably have the, these are the blue characters, which I presume are like the Germans. They are double-sided because for some reason, if you actually look at the token, you have your soldier and then you get that, like an exploded sort of, you know, boom on the other side of the token. So you get a random load of them. These here look like uh, hedges and, and wars, but they're double-sided, so... They could look like this or they could look like this. I have no idea because I've not played the game. I'm just showing you what all, all of them look like. So they go in one bag. This here is what I've put like, these are all double-sided as well. So you can either have, you have a tank this side, you know, and then you have one which is like um, camouflaged, if you see what I mean. That one there, um, troop movement vehicle, another tank. So yeah, they, they're all different front and back. The building ones look the same, so they look like that, and they look like that. So you've got they just they're just the same. I, I don't know why they're double sided. Maybe it's just make it easier. They're all in there, including the guns. They're in there as well. And then I've put things like this where you have Valor with the American stars, and then you have Valor with the German uh, insignia on. If you see what I mean. And there's a load of numbers there and stuff. You've got smoke, smoke two, smoke one. So yeah, you know, there's all sorts there in those four bags. Then you get your cards. So you have your Axis Forces cards. And then you have your Allied Forces cards. So we just... Uh, these are all your Panzer. So I think that's... Veterans. That's all Axis. So you've got Allied. Then Axis. So they come purple, orange, red... Green, there must be a reason why that is. So there's your Axis Forces cards. In this one here, you have your Allied Forces cards. So again, green, orange, and then red, and then purple again. Then you have your Command Pack, which has smaller cards. They're all the same on the back. Basic orders, move, fire, reinforce, all written on the back there. And you have things like this, hit the deck interrupt drop in lead common assault artillery strike rally drop in lead open up there's all different moves here which i have no idea what's for as i said this is what you get in the kit let's have a little look at the instructions and see how far we get right so let's have a little look and see what what we're looking at here there you go there's what it says inside you've got your two force decks with 27 in each 54 command cards two double-sided maps, six square and nine edge cover pieces. You've got objective counters and one intelligence doc dossier counter, which is in that box, in that packet there. Three star counters, 10 dice. And then it says here, you've got 84 in infantry counters, four MG mortar towers, uh, counters, nine vehicle counters, four tower gun counters, 
one valor counter, four smoke counters, six rough terrain counters, and then you have 24 pairs of ID counters. So you get one, you know, one, two, uh, 12, I think it is. So your first game. For the first scenario, find the forest map and lay it out on the table, then take four pieces of square cover and four pieces of rough cover. So what we need is this map, so we're gonna open this up like the book says. So we need four rough terrain. It doesn't say what rough terrain, because you've got some rough terrain that has the word objective on the back. So you've got rough terrain, objective, objective. So we just pick the ones with rough terrain on, okay? To start off with. And then we're gonna place them, so you've got one, two square, so, um, I think that one goes there. Then you need the, the the houses or the what do they call it? You need four square cover. There's one square cover. That one will go there. All right. Oh, so it's that way, is it? That way. Then we need another another one. One goes in there. Then you have one, two, there. And then the final one well just look at oh is it that one? It's the hmm it doesn't quite look the same, but there's only three of them. That's all I've got. I don't think I've got any more. So in the picture here I've only got one, two, three, four square cover. I've only got four of them in this one, so that one goes, there's the two there, so that one goes there. And then you have rough terrain in that box there. That's a gun, that one. Rough terrain in that box there. Rough terrain there and there. And rough terrain there. That's right, yeah, so that's rough terrain, that's rough terrain, that's rough terrain, that's rough terrain. That's the only... I haven't got that many cards, unfortunately. So they're showing you, they're showing four there, but I can only, I've only got three in the pack. I've not dropped one anywhere, I don't think. So I'm doing exactly what it says on here. So from there, but as you can see, I've only got three of these cards in the pack, not four, but I've used uh, that one there, which hopefully it's all right. Players choose which force they will command, Axis or Allies, and take the corresponding force deck. So we'll say, for instance, that's the Allied, that's the Axis one. Describe the troops available to each player's force. You may only select troops from the side's force deck. In this introductory war game for airfix battles, the Allies are represented by the USA and the Axis by the Germans. For the first scenario, take four unit cards from both sides of the Axis and Allied force decks. These will be your starting units. Let's have a look then. So you Select four, shall we? One, two, three, four. Um, let's pick one, two, three, four. There's four from them. And I'm just picking another random four for this side. One, two, three, four. So there's that one there, and there's that one there. Up there at the way. Each unit card states the number of soldiers in the unit, just below the name of the unit. For example, a US infantry squad has 10 men with two bazookas. If you are using infantry counters provided in this box, choose enough counters for your unit and place them by each unit card ready for deployment to the map. You may use airfix figures to represent your units instead if you have them. Don't worry if your figures don't have exactly the right weapons as it's only the number of figures that count. All the information, weapon stats, unit abilities comes from the unit card. We need six snipers on that one. So you go to your counters, pull these off. What should we class as snipers? Let's work out what you class as snipers. I'm using the wrong ones anyway. <laughs> so I need six snipers, so I don't really know I can't see, this has a sniper. No, it's not a sniper, it's a brain gun. Then you've got mortar team. So um, unfortunately, this is as far as I got because the instructions are very, very complex. I'm more of a true pursuit kind of guy, connect for a little bit of Monopoly, you know, a bit of Cluedo, that sort of thing. But these role playing games, you know, like this are, you know, they take a lot of time to get your head around. So this is the sort of game like that, like Dungeons and Dragons, that role playing sort of thing. 
It's a little bit tougher than that. It's not like Risk, <laughs> which I thought it might be, but obviously not. So um, give us a couple of weeks. Let me have a look at it. I'll try and get some friends over and try and work out how to play this game. And I'll do another video on that. Anyway, if you like the video, click like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and ring that bell so that you'll be notified on any new videos. Any questions, comments, put them in the box below. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Cheers.